In this video, we will derive the Moseley's law. So, first of all, the definition of Moseley's law is like this. This law relates the frequency with the atomic number. So, the frequency nu of any particular line emitted by an element and the that's atomic number of the element that is given by Z is related by the Moseley's equation and that is given by root over nu that is equal to a z minus b that so we have to find prove this that is the Moseley's law so to prove this we have to go to the Bohr's theorem so from Bohr's theorem first of all consider that a transition occurs from n1 to n2 state so the energy of the emitted photon due to this is trans transition is given by h nu <coughs> that's equal to rch z square into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square okay and from this the frequency of the emitted photon is given by nu equal to rc z square into 1 by n1 square minus n2 square okay now we take the constant term that is rc into this term as a new constant that is 1 by n square minus 1 by n2 square as a new constant that is a square so if we put the value of new constant there so that will be the relation becomes new equal to a square z, z square and we take this is uh, equation number one and from this root new equal to a into z okay now you can see there is a missing term b because in the main Moseley's equation there is a term b so we need a correction in this equation so for the correction for k alpha electrons or emission one of the two electrons because there are two electrons in the k shell so in k alpha emission one of the electron is first emitted and there leaves the rest electron that is leaving a single electron in the k shell okay now the negative charge of the remaining electron that is of the residual electron partially screens that is make a screening effect on the nuclear charge that is given by z into e so the of the atom so now the 
effective coulomb force on the electrons of l shell is due to the positive charge that is decreased by e so z minus 1 into e so now we can replace the term z square with z minus 1 whole square because okay due to the screening effect so we put there z minus 1 whole square in the place of z square so the equation becomes nu equal to a square into z minus 1 whole square and now for k alpha emission this is occurs due to transition from 1 to 2 so you know 1 equal to 1 and a2 equal to 2 so using this value we get the value of a square there so put the value of n1 and n2 and from this we get the value of a square that is rc into 1 by 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 rc just put, put the value of n1 and n2 that is 1 and 2 and we get the value of a square that is 3 by 4 into rc okay now from this equation we get nu equal to putting the value of a square 3 by 4 rc into z minus 1 whole square okay and from this root nu that is square root of nu equal to square root of 3 by 4 rc into z minus 1 now comparing this equation with the main modulus equation experimented equation that is not that that is this this equation we get the value of a and b just compare this two equation and comparing we get the value of a that is equal to root over square root over 3 by 4 rc and b equals to 1 so from this comparison we can say that the general form of this equation is like root over nu equal to that is a and z minus that is b that is the general form of modulus equation here b is the screening cost constant thus we get the general form of modulus equation using Bohr's theorem